guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today this is another Q&A video. Before you uh, ask, I am wearing this top by Make Me Chic. They sent me a couple tops to try on and I love it. It's so cute. It's just like a distressed t-shirt. I'll model it for you guys in my next video because as you can see in the background, I have a huge box from Chanel. I'm so excited to get to the unboxing of this one. I'm not sure when I'll be able to upload it because it takes some time to edit and also I've been just super busy lately if you haven't noticed I haven't been uploading as many videos every week let's get to the first question I want to um, can you share the measurements of your brooches still trying to figure out which sizes fits best uh, we have similar frame so uh, here you go. I put all my three brooches on my jacket. This is my Babaton jacket. I love this one. This is a Stedman coat. Um, and here's how they look like. So the exact measurements, which I will give you right now. So I'm going to give you all the measurements uh, in centimeters. So across first and then the height. Gauge on yourself if you have a similar frame than me. How they would look on you. I love all three. They honestly are very versatile because these two are considered medium size in my opinion and this is a small size. They all look great. I find that uh, with the bigger brooches uh, they suit best the bigger jackets or the heavier duty jackets but honestly I, I also really enjoy putting this one on my jacket like if you can just look at it it's so cute. So it really just depends on what style you're going for for that day like i think on this t-shirt i don't know i can probably put a small one like right here or i can put uh, a medium one right here to sl amy how is your bag now uh, the bush at mitzis all of my flat items from lv have glazing issues i really like this bag but as you said if i have to worry about quality i'd rather not spend that much I'd love to know how yours is holding up. So my pochette mitsis, um, I mean, okay, I have several videos on it and um, I've had my bag for quite a while now. It's, hmm, it's, it's been over three and a half years. Mine is also in the original design, which is probably not the most representative of what's out there right now uh, at the retail store because mine is in the original canvas which is the stiffer design now it's a flexible design but I just I guess in general I have a feeling that I'm I'm not as confident about uh, bags or SLGs that have flexible canvas and or yeah, flexible canvas and raw edges. In my opinion, those are the items that are the most prone to having glazing issues. Um, I mean, splitting is not such a big deal to me because I do have splitting on my key, six key, but um, I'm just worried if it starts peeling or if any of the raw edges starts cracking, which hasn't happened to me, Not no cracking so far, which is great. Uh, but I have friends who have and that's not good, but something like this I feel a little bit more comfortable because all the edges are sealed. They're either tucked in and sewn um, And folded and these are all sealed. They're all like on the inside So I'm more confident with something like this. So any like of the speedies and even the never folds because they have um, a piece of leather if you're super worried and if you're having uh, bad experiences with uh, the quality issues of your items I would think twice before investing that much more money into them you know at the end of the day you do have to use your items and at the end of the day uh, there will be wear and tear like it's just unrealistic to not expect any wear and tear that's not what this is all about what we are talking about is uh, you know issues that arises early on in addition to that, I, I feel like sometimes it's just like how lucky you are. Uh, like I said, I always try to try the item that I'm buying and also uh, look at a few of the same ones and then just pick the best ones. And if the problem obviously happens way too often or way too early with minimal wear, then of course that's a quality issue. If you've been wearing your bag a lot and and then you start seeing some wear and tear, that's probably normal. So it really depends on your case. But just to get back to your question, my pochette mitsis has been repaired twice now. 
both times is to just do a reglazing on the whole raw edges. However, I don't wear this bag all the time, so it's in my rotation. I just, um, you know, I am a little bit more wary about it, but I, it's been holding up nicely so far. I don't see any issues so far, and also I think. The first time around, the first repair was just more of a lousy job and therefore my second repair was required just to repair the first repair basically. So, um, so far so good, I would have to say. <laughs> Kitty Cat 44 Between the Alma BB and the Palm Spring, which bag do you feel fits more? And I no longer have my Alma BB like you all know, um, but I feel like they both fit about the same amount. It's just the shape. So with the Alma BB and the structure, it's, it also tapers up. Um, you can fit more at the base, but less at the top. Uh, and then you have to play a bit of that Tetris. This one, you also have to pay, play Tetris. Both will fit the Emily wallet, except that I feel like with the Alma BB, you can, once you put the Emily wallet in first, it stays in, you know, in a corner at the bottom, then you're good. Whereas this one, it literally takes up the entire height and I don't feel that's comfortable because it's really like touching the zipper right now. Um, actually, I would you have to put it in the back I think because the back has a little bit more height if you can tell. Here is higher than this. So you kind of have to shove it in the back. Uh, so it does fit. You can you know leave it in there just in case you need your bigger wallet. Um, I don't like it because it's just not very comfortable and it's just not very practical if you need to get in and out of it um, but they I feel like they both fit about the same except that this one because it's more flexible I have um, an easier time playing with the space not to say that the Alma BB is hard it's just because of the tapering up unless you don't close your zip all the way then if you leave it open then uh, it's also a very good bag to to use um, so yeah, actually I guess they're both really comfortable to use. I guess with the Alma BB, you just have to leave it open, leave the zip open. Karen Bimantel, hi Amy, I always watch your videos, thank you. I just want to ask your opinion, I know you have this bag already, which bag do you, would you buy first, the Mini Palm Spring or the Pochette Mitsis? Uh, so I bought my Pochette Mitsis first uh, because, uh, like I said, I bought it early on when it came out. I guess if I had to choose between the two today, um, I don't know. I'd probably still buy the Bush and Mitsis first only because it just looks a little bit more iconic and it looks a little bit more classic. Uh, it, it's just really easy to get in and out of. I love the flat design. I love the, uh, the S-lock design. Uh, I'm not as big of a fan of the shoulder uh, strap because it's a bit stiff. But the look itself is great. Now the mini palm spring is super cute, but it's definitely a little bit more trendy. So in the long term, like I'm talking, if if you're looking for a bag for longevity, uh, and you're less likely to get tired of, I feel like the mini palm spring would be my second choice, and the PM Pashamitsis would be my first choice. But I guess it all boils down to what your needs are right now like if you're looking for something whimsical at the moment then go with the palm spring but if you're if it's your first bag and you want something more iconic that you will keep for a long time then i would go with the bush and Mises. coffee and makeup 24 thank you for your lovely videos i've been binge watching i have recently purchased my first lv the key clay pouch after watching your video on the zippy moose cap I now want one to I blame you. <laughs> but I am wondering if it's really worth it, if I want my musical to act as a go compact item like keys, cash, IDs, credit cards to throw into a clutch. Should I just use my key pouch for it to go compact or sh or would it be too small? The key clay is really perfect for everything. I don't have one but I just I know it's great because, I mean, I have the 6 key and I find that with the 6 key I can put 3 credit cards in it, you can put even more on yours, and then of course keys. You can dangle your keys out if it's too bulky, which is amazing, it's very flexible. With the Mood Scout, I feel like if you're trying to use it more like a, as an extra wallet to fit more cards and cash, 
that's a good item to get. However, if you want to use it more as like a small SLGs that will fit keys and everything else, I feel like it's not as versatile. I mean, I've tried it at the beginning, that's what I was trying to do at the beginning, but in the end, it was not as... It's really not meant to do that, I guess, so it didn't feel like... Um, you know, I did it for a little while and then that was it. Like, I didn't feel like doing that all the time. And uh, the Munzikia itself was quite thick. It was about an inch thick. And if you added things in it, keys and everything, it will be even bulkier. So I don't know how big your clutches are. It may be taking up too much space in it just because it's quite a bulky item. Um, so I feel like if you don't need to spend that money and if you're not if you're not really looking for an extra card holder per se then it's not a necessity to get it i mean if you like it you can get it but i wouldn't i wouldn't consider that item to be as versatile in fact i would rather just go with like a smaller pouch or something like the mini pochette or like the chanel o case or something like that i feel like those are more versatile you can really put like money and cards and keys like everything that you just mentioned uh, and even like a lip balm whereas um the mood scale i feel like it's really just meant for like an extra card wallet that you can throw in a bit of cash and coins in serene serenation i have been dreaming of the square mini with silver hardware for years and i've been waiting for one to come around just came across the season's light gold which looks like a silver in your posts i was dead set on the silver as i already have a walk in gold which is rather yellow would you say the light gold looks almost silver i am wondering whether to go for it so she is referring to my cruise 2016 or is it cruise 2017 I, I, i'm getting my things wrong but basically it came out in november 2016 uh, and yes light gold is all the rage mind you i do have a clear sticker on it so i don't know no it's actually okay i think you can see that it's clearly light gold it's not quite silver uh, compared to my ring if you can tell but i love it i i honestly I don't know if i was dead set on silver i would still love this one now of course it's based on personal preference um I say, in my opinion, since bag, mini bags are so hard to get, like you said, and we all know, if one comes around and you don't hate it, I say get it because that's probably, you know, the soonest that you can get a bag. That also addresses another sort of comment that I had uh, for one of my other videos. It was about my mini palm spring, and in like in all my videos, I always sort of like give a little bit of history and my thought process of it. And I did say that, um, you know, it was never really my cup of tea. I never thought that I liked it. In fact, I probably didn't even like it when it first came out, but I still in the end got it and I love it now. So it kind of addresses this issue where sometimes bags, like food or anything in life, is an acquired taste. You can realize that you love something after having it for a while or having tried it for a while. Uh, just like any food that you may not have liked as a child, but when you grow up, you love. So bags are the same thing. Anything in life is the same thing. So my point is you may not be super fond or you may not think that you um, like the light gold, but I think the fact that you're thinking about it and that you do feel that it looks like silver in some lighting, that I think you should just go for it. That's just my opinion. I mean, you don't have to do it. I'm just saying from personal experience and just from knowing what this market is in terms of minis and how hard they are to get, uh, I would just jump on it, I guess. If, you know, if you want my opinion, that's what I would do. <laughs> KS a BM, love your videos. Do you happen to have a measurement of your square mini? I do. It's actually in my most recent what's in my bag square mini video. So I didn't include it in my initial review just because it was my initial review, I guess, and I forgot to do it. Uh, but it is in my other video, and if I remember, I will try to write it down in the description of the other of the, my first video. Um, and then you asked, I just recently purchased my Chanel Mini Square, and I was curious about the white, the small white dot on the authenticity card. 
on the top right hand corner is yours just a white dot or is there a very faint cc logo on it when under a certain light so like you all know i bought mine at the hotel vancouver and it's of course authentic so okay i'm pretty sure you're talking about the other side with the authenticity number so i'm just gonna flip it around and do that so here you go this is the 2300 23 series and yes there is it's not really a dot it's a circle actually it's quite large but you can compare it to yours if it helps um and perhaps you just didn't receive yours yet it does have the cc if you move it it's it's there for sure if it's very faint or if it's like um it's like a hologram so yeah hopefully you can see that on camera it's quite hard to capture but this the whole thing is basically like a shimmery ivory color and then you for sure will see like a circle and two like the cc in white so it's there for sure so and then here's the other side if you want to just compare yours and uh, you also want to just look at the numbers to see if they look like the same font as mine and the last question is by alexia bates what do i think of the sac pla by the way it is pronounced sac pla i i am fluent in french in case you guys don't know yet still my first language is cantonese and my second language is french i learned it when i went to grade one so i basically did most of my education in french and then um my third language is english so that was much later in life so anyway getting back to the sac pla i like it it's very iconic it's basically just like a square tote but it, it looks like a sh it looks like a shopping bag like one of those fancy shopping bag tote with a nice uh toron handle it's a very basic design it's a very rare bag to see uh, i don't even know if i've seen it in person uh, i've seen it a lot on online obviously and um angelina jolie carries one um i personally like it i i think it's one of those bags where um i see i see them being carried by artists and people that do a lot of drawings or that carry a lot of papers and files maybe a very light laptop because i'm not sure how how like saggy it can get even though it's it's not super wide it's it's kind of narrow um so i i see it as a good bag for someone who is more like you know on the go and who has always some sort of like big drawings to 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 take around or if they go to school uh the only issue is um i wouldn't really want to use it as a handbag i don't think it's really designed as a practical handbag bag of course and i know there's a version with a strap that's like kind of newer even though i think they're kind of phasing out this whole design anyway the whole sac pla um it's okay i don't know if that thinner strap is really that much more useful i think if you start having a lot of things inside your sac pla that even if you carry it on your shoulder it will not be very nice i don't know how it will sort of pull the size and also think about your content are you going to have like lots of heavy books and heavy things inside because you might do a lot of hand carrying um and that might be an issue if you take public transportation so kind of think about that i mean i i love how iconic it is if i could own one just to own one i would just because it's so nice and i see myself using one why not so that's my point of view on it so thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was helpful let me know if you have more questions down below and uh, just like a quick reminder my giveaway of the iris watch is still on until march i think the last day you can enter is march 13th i will do my draw at midnight and um just go and watch my video i'll try to link it below and if you're new to my channel i hope you will subscribe because i make at least one video per week i often post several more bonus videos throughout the week i've just been really busy lately because i'm planning for my trip as 
you guys might know by now. So anyway, I hope to see you guys again back in my channel and thank you for watching this video. I'm Amy. I will talk to you again soon. Bye!